Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got the uh, Royal KMM here on the bench. Going to remove the platen on this video. This machine's getting the work over, so I need to remove the platen just to get access to the carriage here a little bit. So I've got most of this taken apart already. And take the lid off just <clears throat> so it's not in the way. I already had it off, just did that for the picture, but. <laughs> Okay, so this machine's got new feet, so I got the the main part of the feet all off and you know reworked the plungers here and then I'm gonna put in the, the new spacer. That's one thing that's being done. Of course the type is gonna get clean and everything is gonna get chemical clean here. But let's take the roller out. This is a pretty straightforward process. Same thing on the KMM as the KMG and maybe even KMH. So take this knob off. It's just two set screws over here. They're easily accessible. And this knob will come right off. It's got the variable button in here that pushes that little shaft. So we just set that aside. This side, depending on which model it is, some have a cover here, some don't. This one's got a cover. Just move it out of the way, and there's set screws in on the platen in here. That's what you want to remove. One of these is longer than the other, and it fits into a little. So that's the short one right there. So the long one's going to be right there, and that fits into a hole that's in the shaft. So this one should be longer. Yeah, it's got the little extension on it right there. Just take them all the way out and they won't get in the way then. So, if everything is good, this shaft should just pull right on out. Just, there we go, just like that. And go ahead and leave that knob secured on the shaft. It gives you something to grab. And this should just pull right on out here. Just rock on out. There we go. And this side... It's going to have the variable assembly here. This ratchet will also come right off. Come out of here like that. That's the other corresponding piece to that piece. And that's it. Um, these feed rollers come out real easy. Two screws hold this pan in place. And that screw is pretty small. This one is behind this label. I have to clean that, clean that off. When I... That one's pretty tight. There it comes. And this pan will come right out of here. It can be cleaned this out of the machine a little better. Feed rollers pop right out just like that. And just like that. This has a lot of little slots in it but it pretty much lines up pretty easy. And that's it. You can get in here. You can see the star wheel in here. Right there now. And that's how you do that. Reverse installation is just a reverse procedure. Um, sometimes when you're sticking the shaft back in there right, it's got to line this slot up with this little notch right there. So you have to, when you stick it in the shaft here, you have to kind of turn it and feel for it. And once you feel for it, it'll come right through. So there's only one spot that it will fit through there. And that's it. Pretty simple procedure on the uh, Royal here. Kind of wish they were all that simple. Alright, typewriter, good day.